Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about the new weekend league rewards that are coming out today. It looks like we got a new pack in the code just last night, and I want to talk about what that card looks like. I'm going to show you what that card looks like and talk about what kind of cards we could be seeing released as the new weekend league rewards, the new stuff that we should be getting in the team of the week packs, I think, and then our red player picks as well. Since there are no more actual real life football games being played for most of the world because of the virus issues and stuff like that, uh, EA looks like they have come up with a new sort of thing that they're going to do for awards. And I kind of, we'll talk about this a little bit more, but this is the car design. Look, right? As you can tell, it looks like a mix between a team of the week card with kind of like the gold design and the gold, uh, like the, the gold dust kind of in the background, like the team of the weeks have. And then of course the player moments design. It looks like a cross between both of those. Uh, and I'm really, I'm really curious to see what they do with this. I'm going to share with you some of my ideas and feel free to share your own in the content or the comments down below, but you still have the player moments real up here at the top, right? It's kind of like the a movie reel. And we've seen that this year with the regular player moments car design, which has been in foot now since Black Friday. But this car design is like a combination of both of those, right? So if we go back to foot, this is the player moments car design that we all really know. And of course, it's more of like the blue green with the yellow, but you can tell kind of like the waves through the middle of that card. Um, it's very similar, that new car design. It's very similar to this player moments card and a normal team of the week card in foot. So I wanna talk about a few of the things that we could see related to this. And what could this really mean? Again, I want to take a look at the card just to kind of get you guys used to this. I think this is honestly what EA is going to be doing. Since they're putting this into the code on a Tuesday night headed into Wednesday, they normally announce Team of the Weeks on Wednesday. So I think this is our new squad. There are going to be a players that come out tomorrow, probably released at 6 p.m. UK as normal. A new set of players that are going to be with this card design, and that's going to be the Team of the Week for rewards for um, stuff that we will get in red player picks and team of the week packs and stuff like that. They're replacing team of the weeks with this. And the fact that we're getting a whole new car design, I'm actually a little bit excited for this. And I'm kind of optimistic at least because before I was just thinking that EA would be going through the old team of the weeks and, and just kind of, you know, picking out people that they wanted to re-release. That's what I thought we were going to be getting re-released content from older special cards. But the fact that we have a totally new card design interests me a lot because we might be getting new cards with new upgrades or possibly um, old informs that are maybe getting upgraded with this new version of the card. Again, it's up to EA's discretion who they put into these teams, kind of like it always is with Team of the Week, but now they can literally put anybody in. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna have some rules, they're gonna have some guidelines that they set forth with this but again, this is kind of, we're going to be basing our, you know, ideas of what we know with team of the week cards, what we know with player moments cards. These, I think there's going to be called like a flashback or a moments te team of the week moments, flashback moments. Like I, I don't understand exactly, but we're going to talk through some ideas today. Now, some people have already talked about what they think these cards are going to be. They think some people think it's going to be older team of the week cards that are going to, it's basically going to be like a flashback to a certain performance that they had earlier in the year that maybe they didn't get an inform for, but um, now he is going to use this as an opportunity to give them a performance upgrade based on a past game that they had that was very good. And what are some cards that have had good games in the past that haven't gotten informs? Think about guys like Lewandowski or guys like Immobile. I know they're not maybe the most hyped up FIFA players uh, or FIFA cards on this game, but Lewandowski has had an incredible year. Immobile has had an incredible year. Jamie Vardy has had a really incredible year for Leicester uh, with the, this year's games. Those cards could be getting upgrades. Um, like, let me find, a, let me go find a Vardy or whatever. Uh, like Jamie Vardy has a headliners card. I think it's in this set right here. Jamie Vardy only has a couple specials, right? Where's he at? Jamie Vardy right here. If they give Jamie Vardy a moments card, he's, he's leading the Premier League in goals as of the season, which is currently suspended, 19 goals. This could be the type of guy that maybe gets another inform as a flashback player moments, flashing back to a time earlier in the year where he had a great game and didn't get an inform for it. That's where I could see this going. Again, kind of like a flashback to earlier in the year. 
The other thing that I'm really curious about is could this just be a reason for EA to give a random card, a special card? And you know what they've been doing with, um, like, in foot. In foot, we get these player moments SBCs for really random stuff. Like this Hector Bellerin. He earned a player moments card for celebrating his goal line clearance versus Swansea. So for a goal line clearance, this man gets a player moments card. Now, I know that was probably a big game. I I'm not really good at my Premier League history. That game doesn't mean a ton to me, uh, you know, off the top of my head. But we have some other player moments cards in here. And you can tell when you read the descriptions of these, these cards that are in, in that have been released into the game, some of their descriptions are just really, uh, really random, right? Are, are these cards going to be getting uh, flashback upgrades based on like a moment, right? So like this, this Ramos was celebrating his volley. Uh, Leroy Sané was celebrating a decisive goal versus Liverpool. Eden Hazard was celebrating a solo league goal against West Ham. So think of some guys that you might, that could get um, special card upgrades with these new cards um, for like a, a, a performance, like a moment in time earlier th in this year where they had an insane run. And of course, uh, somebody brought this up tonight on my stream, Hyun Min Sun with his amazing uh, solo run goal, which is I think a, a candidate for Premier League goal of the year. What if he gets a one of these new cards? He could, he could get a 91 rated, um, you know, flashback moments or flashback moments team of the week whatever these are called that could be the type of card that we see with this new card design and that's what we could see released in the game again right now it's all theory until we get more information from ea telling us exactly what is going on but i guess we can kind of make some assumptions and think along the lines think critically and think analytically based on what we know from foot and, and what we've seen already in team of the weeks. Of course, we've, we've had team of the weeks one through 26 up until now, and now they're going to be changing it to something different. So I guess the fact again, that I see EA putting out a new car design, which I know I've shown you this a bunch, but this car design, the fact that we have one, it's a new one and they're putting it in the code. This kind of hypes me up and makes me optimistic because there's a possibility for something new. And this kind of shows me that EA is putting effort into this and not only just re-releasing content. Now, the other option is maybe this is just a new SBC and EA is actually just going to be re-releasing content and putting other versions of cards in team of the week. Um, they could really spice up a team of the week by putting in like future stars and stuff like that. And maybe that's part of what they'll do with the team of the week. We really just don't know. We really just do not know with these cards uh, until we see what comes out today on foot. And I would expect for the normal 3 p.m. UK release of information related to these new cards um, and what they're going to be. How is this going to impact the market? That's the next biggest question. How is this going to impact the market? Well, I feel like it's going to impact the market just like a normal, regular team of the week would, right? When you have a new team of the week coming out, you basically have, let's say, um, let's say Neymar gets a team of the week, right? People are going to be selling this version of Neymar. Um, Neymar is actually a really great example because he has a couple different cards. So if a new team of the week Neymar came out, 94 rated, right? Because he's got this 93. 94 rated Neymar comes out, whether it's left wing, whether it's center attack and mid, uh, this card will probably drop because people sell it because they want to go get the new one. That's what happens when a new team of the week comes out. The lower level special cards for that same player usually tend to drop. What's going to happen uh, to that card is it's going to drop. The new one's going to come out. It's going to be in packs or whatever, right? So I do expect some cards. I expect there to be a little bit of panic today heading into these cards being released when the new cards come out because people really, we have no idea what's going on. And when people don't know what's going on and they have the, the availability. A lot of you guys are watching this video. A lot of you guys are on Twitter. You've seen the pack design. People are tweeting about it. People are talking about it, making concept cards, but it's all unknown until we actually get the content. Um, there is panic when people don't know what's going on. At least this year, we've seen a lot. People sell cards because they're worried. They sell cards because they're worried that they're going to lose coins and that they're going to lose some of their hard earned coins on FIFA Ultimate Team. And that's why you see some of these things of panic selling. So I do think you could see a little bit of panic today. Watch the market, watch for some out of pack special cards, shapeshifters, other promo cards, and see if they just get too low. Um, but the other end of the scenario here is what cards could go up tomorrow if we get new, you know, moments 
uh, Team of the Week cards. A guy like Neymar, let's say that he gets a new inform, right? We're just looking at Neymar again. Neymar has a 94 rated Player of the Month and 93 Team of the Week. Since this Neymar right here is already a 95, supposedly it's going to stay one ahead of the inform. If Neymar gets a 94 inform, however, this card will upgrade to a 96. And that could cause this headliner live item to possibly go up in price, which I think it actually absolutely would go up in price. He's like 3.8, 3.9 mil right now. Neymar gets a team of the week. Moments card, this guy goes to a 96 and he goes up in price. Same thing with Lewandowski, as I talked about. Had some incredible games this year. There's a high possibility that a guy like Lewandowski could get himself uh, another one of these cards. And this, um, wow, this card's dropped off a lot which makes sense because this, these are not live items anymore. How much is this Lewandowski? 700K? 700,000 coins for this card. 710 for the headliner Lewa. Let's say Lewa gets a 94 rated inform um, or the new team of the week moments card. This guy would go to a 96 and then all of a sudden he becomes worth more. So that's one thing that you can sincerely and ser sincerely take a look at and be ready for today when we see these new cards drop is be familiar with the price of live items that can be upgraded by informs. Ones to watches can be upgraded and headliners can be upgraded. Keep a careful eye and think in the back of your mind what cards have headliners and what cards have ones to watches because let's say they get one of those new cards, boom, this version or the ones to watch gets upgraded and then you have a card that is going up in price because of that. So that's the main thing I want to talk about is watch out for the live items that could get upgraded because a lot of them are stupid cheap right now. A lot of these live items have dropped a ton because they're no longer playing real life games. Like look at this Salah. This Salah was 2 million coins at one point right here, 2.05. It's just been dropping down, especially in the last week with, with all the shutdown. Uh, 1.3 mil, he's gone down to basically just under 1.1 mil. And that's kind of the trend for all of these live items because they just keep dropping because of course, no games are being played in real life. So if anybody gets into this new set of cards, this new team of the week stuff, just keep a careful eye on some of these live items because they could actually shoot up in price and then ones to watches as well, um, the live items right now going on. But again, if you, see, if you see panic selling on other areas of the market, right? Like let's talk about shapeshifters again. Shapeshifters are still used in a lot of people's squads. And if it looks like, which it does right now, these are not going to get re-released. If you still see panic on some of these, that might be a scenario or a situation where you take some action. This Mbabu card fluctuates like crazy, right? This is just kind of like general knowledge and, and foot card trading based on fluctuations. Uh, this guy fluctuate all, all the time because he's a very desirable card in this game, especially with the Bundesliga links. Right now he's 340K. He hit a low of 317 earlier today. That's very, very flippable. There's definitely some profit in there that you could make from this card on the daily fluctuation. So maybe this guy tomorrow morning, you see him at like 300,000 coins. You're like, yo, that's kind of cheap. I think there should be a rebound of that. So again, just watch the panic today as we're heading into the 3 p.m. UK. I think we should get an announcement. That's when they normally announce team of the week. And then 6 p.m. UK uh, announcing the rest. Another thing you might just be careful for is watch on the icons. Just be careful with some of these icons uh, and see if they do anything uh, price-wise. If there are some really, if they really, really hype up these new cards and they do something crazy with them, there is a possibility that some of the icons could take a hit in price just because these are some of the most expensive cards in the game. And if they introduce a cool new concept midweek, uh, then, you know, that could be something to watch out for. But I honestly just think, again, that this car design and that this right here is basically just going to be a way for EA to drop new cards on FIFA 20 and, you know, basically make a team of the week and make things to play for. Again, it, it, they have this new car design and I feel like they're going to have to do new informs and new stuff from it. Again, this makes me hyped up because we can tie this back to real world events that happened earlier this year. Maybe they'll use some of these cards for Champions League moments, for Europa League moments. Um, of course, we don't have, I don't think we have like a, a UCL. Remember last year we had that um, that purple and with white stars card design. It was like a UCL SBC card. I forget what the exact name of it was. 
Um, but maybe they'll throw some of the UCL moments that probably won't be happening in the next few months because those games have been canceled or, or suspended at the least um, into cards like this. So again, again, I think it's based gonna, gonna be based on some sort of moment or some sort of performance, uh, moment or performance based on this highlight reel and based on what the card kind of resembles. But I'm pretty pumped for it. And I would save your packs. I don't know if I would open your packs for this promo, like the stuff that's coming out today. Uh, again, it just depends on how they juice it, right? I don't think they would put like a full promo team into packs on a Wednesday. So I wouldn't have the craziest of high hopes. And that's why I feel like, I feel like they're going to re-release some stuff, right? Like maybe some of the lower tier informs. I don't think they're going to go through every single week and release a team of 20, 23 cards. Is that how many we have in a team of the week? I don't expect a new set of 23 cards every week that is tying back to one specific moment for each of those players. I feel like they're going to re-release some other past special cards, other informs or other cards in this game. So maybe a guy like this Lala gets re-released uh, and then you might see his price drop. So that is another scenario where I do think if you do have some lower tier special cards, not that it's really a, a place where you want to sell those because these aren't worth a ton anyway, but I would just be careful with your special cards uh, and, and don't feed into any panic selling that might be happening as you log into the game and as you maybe see some informs going down. Um, even like this Mbappe card, uh, I haven't seen too much panic with this card yet because of his upcoming player of the month. But who says that it's not coming, right? 2.395 mil right now for this card isn't too low. But... Um, you know, you never know what kind of panic you're going to see depending on when this stuff drops. So just be careful with that. And if you're scared, you could take some coins. I expect a promo this weekend. I think we will get a promo this weekend, either like a foot birthday or maybe carnival. We haven't had a carnival yet, so we'll just see what happens. Uh, I do expect a promo this weekend, but I don't think this has really anything to do with it. We'll see what they come out with. We'll see how hype they make it. We'll see how they, you know, what kind of players they put in. And if it's going to be worth playing weekend league down the road, because these cards, whatever we get this week and whatever information they give us about these new cards this week is going to be crucial for us to play weekend league down the road. And it makes sense. They kind of need to put something out that's decent with these new card designs and make something special of it to try to keep people interested and keep people involved with for champions because that keeps people on their game like right now everybody is just grinding the icon swaps so they can get the icon pack or get their tokens or whatever they want but uh ea of course wants to give decent rewards uh via team of the week and via stuff that is in packs so that people want to spend packs and, and and you know or spend money in open packs and of course stay on the game to get those cards as rewards as well so those are my thoughts on today's car design and on what could be coming with this card right here and supposedly today with the new team of the week. So if you enjoyed this video, boys, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any ideas or thoughts on this, comment them down below in the comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.